Hello YouTube, Angry Hibble here again. It's been a while since my last video. And today we're going to play some Skyrim Special Edition. We're going to look at some of the wooden plate glitches to get some free stuff, because who doesn't like free stuff? Um I found a better recording method than my other Skyrim videos. I'm not sure how well it will work, but I guess I'll see when I'm done. Uh um, but let's get started. So, I thought the best place to start with the, uh, glitches is to look at the big one on my channel. We're gonna do the wooden plate glitch on Delphine's secret room. Since people really seem to like that one, that one got a lot of views. What happened? Uh, okay. So, you, my character is like, uh... He is level six, well, she is level 63. I played this a lot. I got this game a long time ago. I have all the achievements for it on Xbox. Um, so as you, yeah, so as you can see, I've been down here already. But the door will be shut. So let's just pretend that that door My is locked. Drinking, buddy. Let's so what you want to do is you want to grab a wooden plate and you want to spray well, that works too. Uh, so I just accidentally whirlwind sprinted into the wall. Uh, what I meant to do is sprint into it to show that you can... Whirlwind sprint works way better for going through walls because you go way faster. But sprinting works too. It's just harder. It usually only works on the thinner walls. So I'm just gonna keep at this till I get it. See, if this was locked, the false back panel would always be open. It's this front wardrobe that's all that's uh, that she unlocks. You can watch my original video if you don't believe me, but uh, <coughs> so that's how you do that. So let's see, what other kind of money making glitches do we got here? So if you want to make more money with the wooden plate glitch, there's really no better place to go than the Thieves Guild. Okay, so you get over to the Thieves Guild. You know, you get in it get in it any way you can. You know, uh not even you don't even need to be in the Thieves Guild. You need to get to the Ragged Flagon. This is just a faster way to get there, so just get to the Ragged Flagon through the Ratway. Or through here, whichever is more convenient for you. Yes, sir. So let me just get through here. And this has been a very glitchless character for the most part. I mean, I've done some of these. I've I've been through walls at some point, but most of this character is completely legit. So I really like this character because I actually grind it all the way to level 63. I've done all the DLCs. It's, it's great. Okay, so... You want to get out your wooden plate. I, I don't leave home without it, so I got one right here. And this one works way better with Whirlwind Sprint, but I'm going to try sprinting at it. See if I can't get through. See if I can make this nice and quick. I want this video to be 10 years long. If it doesn't have to be, it won't let me walk through the wall. Why can't I walk through walls in a game where I can't walk through walls? Okay, I'm gonna try whirlwind sprinting. See, the problem with whirlwind sprinting is sometimes you fall down, but I, there's water underneath this, and I still manage to land in the water, so that means I can still get the chests. You know, just breathe sometimes, you don't... Wait. Do I even need to breathe? I think my helmet might have water breathing. Let me check. It's been a while since I played on this character. Yep, I have water breathing. Doesn't matter. Okay, so there's chests everywhere under here. There's a lot of merchants down here. These chests are here even if you don't uh, get the merchants yet. So there's gold... And all of these chests, because they're merchants. 
I didn't really want that anyway. Never thief you so you can always you just go around and take everybody's money. Uh, they usually don't care. Sometimes they'll get mad and kick you out of the thieves guild. So just be careful with that. Um, for some reason, it's not stealing if you take it out of this one. They don't have a lot of stuff in there though, so don't get too excited about that. Taken. I don't even need this money. Like, yeah, I almost have a hundred thousand gold. Uh, I've been very good about saving that this time and earning it. And then all you need to do to get back in is walk right through the wall. You don't need a wooden plate that time. It's nice and simple for you. Oh, nice. They just kicked me out of the Thieves' Guild. Oh, no. One sec. Funny she thinks she can do anything to me. Let me just give this one sec, guys. See you later. I'm not afraid of you. Maybe I am. You are invincible. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get out of here. Hopefully this isn't too boring. I know I'm not the best at making videos. Okay, so there's a couple more things I'm going to show you, and we'll call it for a day. I'll probably make another remake of my getting sneak to 100 video just because you know the video quality is probably better now like I said I've only looked at a few recording I've only tested this a little bit and it looked fine but I don't know how long how good it'll be with a long recording okay so let's so if you not want if you want money from a chest another good way to do it a lot of people know this one. This is a very, very one on one. But you got the Dawnstar chest. Okay, so here we are in Dawnstar. Well, let's head over here. We're going to just go where exactly where I'm going. As soon as you, if you fast travel to Dawnstar, that's where you appear is back there. And is there a dragon? Hmm, I don't want to fight Okay, so just keep on running this way past the mine, and over to these rocks. You want to sneak down so you can get closer to the ground. One sec. Is this right? I don't remember if this is right. Is it right here? Oh. <laughs> One sec, I, I need to remember this because I'm bad at life. Dragon at. Okay, it looks like it left. To be honest, I'd highly recommend you watch a different video than this one because this is this video is terrible, honestly, at this point. Been here for almost ten minutes, over ten minutes, and barely anything has been accomplished. Here it has to be over here. But where is it? Oh, there it is, right here. You want to get? You want to come over to the mine? You come over between these rocks. I was completely right. Right here, there's a chest you can search. And this is another merchant chest. And you're taking the money, or whatever you take from the chest, from the traveling Khajiit merchants. So that's what that chest connects to. So. Another place to get money, this is, uh, let me think, I think this might be the last place. Oh, no, I got one other thing to show you. But, okay, so you went over to Whiterun. This chest is also very well known, but I'm going to show you another easy way to break out of Whiterun. 
Okay, so once you arrive in Whiterun, see a lot of people know the barrel method for breaking out of Whiterun. It's kind of hard to do. There's a method on getting on top of a house. What is happening? My game just froze. Oh, nice! The game crashed! Okay, I'm back. So as I was saying, barrel method, and then there's a method from getting on top of a house. You can jump over the wall. But there's an easier method, and it does not involve getting out of Daedric Hammer. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get your trusty wooden plate. You should always have a wooden plate on you. If you do not have a wooden plate on you, you're playing Skyrim wrong. Uh, so Good what you're going to want to do is, in a better place now. is you can in always try running through the wall, but it's Lord. largely ineffective on these gates. So you're going to want to get Whirlwind Sprint, which isn't that hard to do. Just get it from the main quest. <laughs> and that didn't work either. Come on, come on. Okay, it looks like it works better if I do it on one side of the door. Not in the middle. So don't do it in the middle. It apparently works worse. Hey, look, I'm almost going to make it. Oh. Okay, we'll try Warwind Sprint again then, since apparently I figured out the method. There we go. Right through. Really far out. I do not want to be this much out here. Let me go back. Okay, so there's the doors. Apparently the back of White Run is a castle door. Or the back of the White Run door is a castle drawbridge door. So what you're going to do is once you're out, walk this way around the city. You're heading towards uh, the Companion Sky and the Skyforge. You're heading towards that direction of the city as you walk around. Okay, we're almost there, so here's the Skyforge place, you're going to want to find this huge texture glitch, and once you're here you're going to just start walking towards this area, climb up here, and walk right through the rock, and you want to just keep walking towards that chest over there, if you can. I'm stuck on an invisible wall. One sec. Okay, so you okay, just keep walking up against the invisible wall, and then you want to like and jump at it. There you go. You got it. And so this is a uh, the this is the Skyforge uh, thing. So yeah, there's a lot of ores and stuff in here. You know, it does not appear that he has gold for some reason. Unless I passed it. Nope, he doesn't have gold for some reason. So, uh, he'll normally have gold, but right now he doesn't. So, maybe take his other stuff. I don't know. So, but there's one last thing that I'd like to show you today, and that is in the College of Winterhold area. So, there's one easy solution, and I'm sure you might be able to guess what it is. So, the chick will be standing right here, and she'll be making you do the test. All you have to do is, when you finish the dialogue, walk around her, and just run on past her. Just keep on, keep on running. Until so you get to the gate. See, the gate opens for me, because I'm a member. But I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you this. So, you, you want to... Knock it out your hammer. Well, I don't know why I keep getting that out. So what you're going to want to do is pick up your wooden plate that you will have no matter, that you will no doubt have. Uh, because you are good at this game. And you just want to run right through the gate. May or may not happen. You know, like this, gl this glitch is inconsistent. It's if you try sometimes. If you're playing this on console, which I feel like a lot of the people actually watching this are, you're going to have mods on special edition. This will work on non-special edition, but 
to be honest, I don't know why you're trying to do glitches if you can just download mods to do half this stuff. Unless you're like me and you just don't like mods for some reason and you like glitches. I don't know. I'm weird. So I'm gonna do World's Franks it's faster. Actually, never mind, no, it's not. It doesn't work for some reason because glitches are dumb. Okay, there we go. Don't run in the middle of the doors like earlier. The paralyzed not how it works. So basically, when even when these doors are locked, you can just sprint through these doors and then you can talk to anyone in the college. You can go buy spells, you can go talk to the librarian for the other school less. Then when you're ready to leave, you can either fast travel out or run back through the doors. I'm just going to open them because I can. So I'm going to take my plates. And I believe that's it. This video is kind of drawn on. And it's a bit lengthy, so I won't talk for too long. But, uh... If you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you liked it, uh, it's helpful. Oh, uh, I lived. I'm good. <laughs> but if you like this video, like it, it'll... It'll make me feel good inside for five seconds. But, uh, so yeah, subscribe, so that I can become the next PewDiePie, and, uh, thanks for watching.